Good evening. How are you? Well, I didn't get to do a walk and talk today, in part because I had to file papers. And uh, I might not uh, even do this uh, stand and talk if it wasn't for the fact that so many people are talking about the felonious activity of Trump and minimizing it. Now, they say it in the most general way, like, why shouldn't a president uh, be a felon? Well, consider what a felon does. A felon is a person who had a serious violation and ignored the law. And a president is going to take an oath of office to uphold the law. You see the conflict there? Let's examine the felonies. 34 felonies involving what? Lying about certain facts, concealing them, because to reveal them would compromise his ability to win an election in 2016. So it's tied directly into the business of being a politician, the business of being elected by the people, and deceiving them in order to do that is a significant concern. Now, if it is true that a person can be a felon and be a president, I think we should change that. I mean, you have to be a certain age to be president. You uh, have to uh, come from the United States. That was the rule against Alexander Hamilton. You have to be a person who is not a felon. That should be a barrier because for the first time, <clears throat> I believe, in American life, we have people saying it doesn't matter when it does, and it matters a lot. And some are trying to defend against this by saying, uh, so, and, I, and they're, they're saying this in a critical way, a sarcastic way, a cynical way. Should we eliminate the notion of felon as a bar to any of a number of positions and all the various laws of the states and the federal government? No, because the proposition that a crime against the community or a person, particularly one that relates to deception, is something we should be concerned about because it's no joke when people say politicians lie. Politicians have a spectrum of possibility when it comes to handling the truth. Puffery, okay. Uh, mistake, eh, okay. Outright lies, things that can be contradicted by tape and stuff like that. Lies that are critically important to the job of being a president uh, in our situation. So why are Republicans who must understand these things the way you and I do saying what they are? Because they have no one else. Because they put all their eggs in this basket out of fear, out of coercion, out of a hope that they would be on the winning team and be taken care of. Who knows? But Trump is the only candidate they have. And he's just been convicted of 34 counts. So they're doubling down on saying, oh, there's nothing wrong about being a criminal and being elected to the presidency. Now, I think it's one thing to be talking about issues and so forth, but we're talking about character. And the character that we're concerned about is a man who has no regard for the truth, who has no regard for humans, who does not respect democracy, and that he's a felon on top of all of that. So when your friend or neighbor says, oh, it doesn't matter if he's a felon, say it matters a lot. It matters a lot. Because at the core of our nation is the ability to be believed, to be credible, and for the people to believe in their president and for foreign nation states to believe as well. And if a person can be a felon with the history that Trump has, because this special rule is plainly because of the impossible corner that the Republicans have painted themselves into, making him their uh, consummate nominee to be president when just days after his sentencing, he's going to be at a convention uh, talking about his sentence and the other criminal cases that are not going to go away. And let me make just a couple of short footnotes. You can indict a sitting president. This person has been indicted when he was not sitting as president. That is Trump. These cases may or may not go off before he's elected. Seemingly, it doesn't look like any of them will occur before the election. It is possible in my mind that the federal case in D.C. could go forward. But how many convictions do you need before you respect the notion 
that a felonious conduct is a mark against any person who would run for president. It's always been true in this country. So we should make it a law that you can't be elected if you're a felon, uh, and uh, particularly of a certain kind of uh, a crime, if you want. And um, we should otherwise meet on the battlefield of ideas in the fora that, that will proliferate between now and the election, that you guys are only for felons because that's who you got. And that's not a reason to change our appreciation for the character of our president. So if I ran on a little bit, so be it. Uh, I apologize. And uh, tomorrow I hope to be in uh, my Cathedral of Trees and not raining. And I'll talk to you then. All the best. Bye-bye.